right, Affordable Solar Guy here. Got an exciting little project we're gonna kind of give you the full tour of today. We alluded at it on a couple other videos, but this is the company golf cart that we've been using for about 10 years now. And, uh, you know, originally we, just like everybody else, had to plug it in, you know, every other day, every three days. Sometimes you forget and then you run out of juice going up to the office. Um, so in after a handful of years, uh, we realized that, well, golly gee, we install solar. Why are we plugging in our golf cart? Uh, so this is a commercial 72 cell solar panel. Uh, it's about 360 watts. And this panel, you know, was designed to be on a big commercial installation, uh, but it just so happened to be the perfect size for the top of a typical golf cart. So we literally just removed the fake plastic top that was bolted right here where these bolts are reused. And when we took the plastic top off, we lost some of the structure. So we had to add a little bit of metal in here to kind of get the structure back. And then this is all standard off the shelf solar racking that we you know, adapted for this purpose. Uh, it's really worked out well. There's some, a little bit more, uh, I don't know, pre-manufactured kits out there, but they sure are proud of them. And uh, we kind of like, you know, seeing all the nuts and bolts of how things come together. But there are some kits where you can make it look fully integrated. There's actually some peel and stick solar panels, which are a lot less quality and long lasting than this, but you can literally just peel and stick it right on your existing plastic roof. So there's a bunch of different ways that we can help you explore affordable solar options. Uh, but in our professional opinion, this is the best, most affordable way. You've got the most industrial components. Um, you know, the, the only key components that we added was the solar panel and then the charge controller. I'll step around this side so you and I can see it at the same time. But basically we went ahead and sprung for an American made charge controller. Uh, there were a lot cheaper ones from overseas. The little steady blink that it's doing there is just letting you know it doesn't quite have enough sun to do anything. But on most any given day when I go home for lunch, I see a steady green light indicating my battery is fully charged. And so basically this little charge controller is monitoring the solar input based on whatever the sun's given us and charging those batteries. Our batteries on this cart are just your standard, you know, in fact, they're relatively cheap Duracell batteries, but because I'm not putting them on a real heavy household charger, I'm giving them a nice solar trickle charge every day. My batteries need less water. They're experiencing drastically less wear because other than the ride up in the morning, they're recharged by lunch. Uh, so it's really a, a neat idea, a neat process. And the only drawback to this solar powered golf cart would be if you keep your golf cart in the garage. Uh, we did have to put some new seats on the old girl after a handful of years because, uh, you know, outdoor living, uh, the seats and stuff will wear out a little faster. But to me, never having to plug it in is a reasonable trade off to changing the seats every five to 10 years. So um, we've been really blessed with it. It's been absolutely trouble free, and we'd love to help you have a trouble free performance of never charging your golf cart and always knowing it's ready to go when you jump on it. If you have any questions about the golf cart process, want to get a quote for one on your place, or just want to buy the, the kit or the materials, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit us up with any other questions you may have if you want to see any other details. But there's really not a whole lot to it. One of the biggest blessings with solar is that it is a fix it and forget it product. You put it in, if you put it in right and you use the right products, you're going to be guaranteed many years of trouble-free performance. So in closing, again, you know, you don't have to charge your golf cart the old fashioned way. You can do it right off the sun. Uh, you can have free power for life when you're cruising around. This wouldn't necessarily be the end all for golf courses because eventually you can't overdrive the sun. This 360 watt panel is not quite gonna totally replace driving around full throttle all day, every day. But if you have a ranch property or a home with a couple of acres and you're regularly using a golf cart for traveling around, this could be the answer that keeps you from wanting to buy that fancy mule or those other expensive dino juice burning devices and keeps you in an electric device. The older golf carts are way more affordable to do just because they're 36 volt and there's a few other benefits to them. So, um, you know, again, if you've got that old golf cart, you've been thinking about retiring, don't think too fast because we can help you set it up the right way. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, it helps us uh, maintain our presence out there. It helps other people see our information. And if you have any questions, please hit us up anytime. Uh, just send in anything you'd like to see and we'd be thrilled to do a special video just for you.